The complaints of foul chemical odors coming from the Mac assembly plant where Stellantis makes the Jeep Grand Cherokee have been coming consistently since July of last summer. Tonight, the Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy hosted a virtual meeting to discuss those complaints and talk about what's being done. Jason Colthorpe at the plant tonight where changes are in store. Jason. Yeah, there are some changes coming, Devin, uh, after five violations here. However, that doesn't carry much water with the people who live around here until they know for sure that their sore throats, burning throats, burning eyes, even asthma attacks are going to stop because of the odors here. In a virtual meeting Thursday, Eagle announced Stellantis has a three-part plan to fix four odor violations and one for improper ductwork here at the Mac assembly plant. Part of the presentation featured a toxicologist with MDHHS who reviewed air samples. Of 20 unique chemicals detected, eight are used at the MAC plant, and all were below a short-term or long-term health risk. Still, Eagle, the EPA, and MDHHS admit there isn't enough data to positively say there isn't a health concern meaning more tests are needed. You guys are using something that's useless for the people over here to make these assessments. And you're already saying that you don't have all the information, but you keep telling people they're safe. And then there's chemicals that you can't even, um, you can't detect or you don't test for, but you're telling people they're safe. That doesn't make common sense. I'm no scientist, but that doesn't make common sense. Neighbors who have been voicing their concerns for six months or more are clearly beyond frustrated. How it's okay for you all to kind of underscore or, or sign off on Stellantis's statements that there are no health risks when you've all stated that there's not data to do that. I guess that that's my question. You don't seem to be concerned about the health impacts. You seem to be focusing on the smell and not the fact that eyes are burning, that throats are sore. And those are neighbors you heard from there. And the member of the MDHHS, the toxicologist that was on this meeting tonight, responded directly to what you just heard, saying odors, strange odors, foul odors are not going to be acceptable. Neither are health concerns. And that's why they're going to be doing more testing. They're going to monitor what Stellantis is doing, and they're going to have future meetings to keep people in the loop on what happens. Devin? Jason, we know from our past reporting on this, a lot of the residents in the area want to see uh, Stellantis hit with penalties for what's happened. And that will happen. As a matter of, as a matter of fact, Eagle right now is crafting that, uh, putting it together, that will have penalties for the five violations it's already had and uh, penalties for any future violations. So we'll see where it goes, yeah. but they want to make sure it has teeth. Sure. You, you bet. All right, Jason.